This is a little printer capable of some really big things. Come on in, you're going to want to check this out. Since starting this channel, I've been fortunate enough to have a bunch of different companies reach out to me, and every now and then, something catches my eye. And that was the case with this Coconi Mini 3D printer. I was intrigued by its small scale and app compatible technology. Now this thing's got some pretty interesting specifications for a little printer. Its build volume is only 3.93 by 3.93 by 2.8 inches. It has a nozzle diameter of 0.4 millimeters, a printing speed of 80 millimeters per second maximum, and it's run off a 12 volt 50 watt setup. In terms of setup, I just pulled this thing out of the box and it was pretty much ready to go. Right off the hop, I was actually surprised with how small that build volume really was. But I must admit, it had a really sleek design. It was definitely a really nice, well-built unit. Now, one of the interesting things about it, is it has an integrated filament holder here. You've got to take off the clip, and you can see it spools right onto the back of the printer. All I had to do was plug it in, flip the switch. It took a second to read the directions and the sit-up process was really easy. Once you turn it on it goes through a calibration process. Then you can download the app that controls the printer from the website and then simply connect to the printer that you have. Connect via Bluetooth. Push this little red button to pair. Then connect to your Wi-Fi and you're good to go. The app has a library of a lot of really cool items to get you printing right away. They have it nicely organized in a pile of different categories that you can scroll through from toy models to construction models, traffic and machinery, one of my personal favorites, cartoon characters. The list goes on and on. There's just a whole bunch of cool stuff. Now, I decided to 3D print this miniature castle to get started. I thought this would be a fitting print to test this printer out. All I had to do was hit print. It loaded up into the slicer built into this app. It uh, is really user friendly. Basically, I hit start print and the machine fired up and the print started. It's always nice to see a new printer have a really good print to start off. And this print was really nice. Bed adhesion was a little bit weak, so I decided to add some masking tape for my next prints, but the built-in supports from this app was really, really good. I cleaned up this little model and I was quite impressed with the quality of this first print. The layer lines were really nice, there was no stringing, there was no burrs, nothing. It was a really good print. What I really want to know is can this mini printer print minis? But the real test is can this thing actually print minis? Printing minis on an FDM printer isn't easy, but I found this little barbarian guy and I decided to test it out with him. This time, bed adhesion was a lot better with that little bit of masking tape that came with the printer. And after a few hours, I had my first mini printed off of this machine. I took my time and took it out of the supports. You want to be careful taking FDM prints out of supports. This is when you can usually break it. Unfortunately, white is very hard to see the layer lines and the quality of this print. So I decided to go ahead and paint it black. A little bit of spray paint. Then I decided to give it a little bit of a dry brush with some gray just to help you guys see the quality of this print a little better on camera. And as you can see here, it's very smooth and the layer lines are very minimal. The other thing we want to look at here is how to change the filament because it's a little bit of a different process than what you might be used to. All you need to do is open up the app and select change filament. Then you have to scan the barcode on the bottom of the new filament and the printer begins to automatically preheat. Once it's preheated, you'll go through a few prompts. You simply remove the canister on the back, put the new canister on, 
feed the filament through the Bolden tube. Then follow the steps on the app and you can see the filament start to go back through the tube and down into the printer. And just like that, you're good to go. Now, it's time to print another miniature. So this time I went back into cartoon characters, found this really cool knight and decided to print him. He was a little big, so I scaled it down right in the app itself. That's a really cool feature. Here you can see here, the print came out perfect. Now this purple is a little easier to see. You can see here that's a very, very smooth print. But just to give you a better idea, I threw some paint on this thing as well. It's a nice little print off an FDM printer for sure. And this thing is so easy, even kids can use it. So this is definitely the easiest 3D printer I've got. See if you guys can find something to print. Mm, flexible dinosaur? Wait, is flexible? What do, what do flexible Dickie like Francis. You want to print him? Yeah, would okay. it actually be flexible or not? I don't know. See this little button that says print? Yeah. Push that. Now watch, it's going to load up. This is what it's going to look like. Look. Gonna what be, color is it going to be? It's going to be purple. Hit next step. Next step, but the dad can probably paint it after. And then see this here? What's that say? Link it? Say, still painting. Yep, start printing. Still What's that say? Still printing. Press that button. Okay, and it's going to start in a couple of minutes. That easy. Now I have a few printers around, but it seems like the kids really enjoyed this one. And in no time, their little flexible dinosaur was printed. Then I decided to do something a little more complicated and print a multi-part kit. This was a little tank model that required two prints to complete. So I got started on that one. And as you can see here, the first half of this tank was really nice and all the additional pieces were really nice as well. Now with this tank, you can really see the quality in this FDM printer. I was actually quite surprised at this point how good this thing could actually print for such a small unit. I decided to throw some paint on this tank to really see what it would look like if we painted it up. I used a little bit of camo green from Krylon, then some matte black from Rust-Oleum. Using a little bit of army paint or plate mail, I quickly dry brushed the tracks as well as the tank body up. just to help add a little bit of detail to this simple paint job. And this thing turned out phenomenally. Now guys, we're always making cool stuff at the facility. We're always testing out new gear. So go ahead, smash that subscribe button, leave a comment below. I try to respond to everybody. Now you can also 3D print your own models. You can see here, I made these dungeon tiles for Dungeons and Dragons. So I threw one of those onto my online profile it loaded into my app and then I simply went through the process to print this dungeon tile. And I was really happy because it fit perfectly onto the build plate. Now I've printed a ton of these things in the past. So when this one came out and I got to look at the quality, I was really happy with it. This printer prints as well as any printer that I've ever owned. And guys, I've got a ton of these dungeon tiles. I've got them all on my Patreon account. I'll link my Patreon account below. And i got to take a second again to thank all the members of my Patreon. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. You guys are really helping me bring this channel to new heights. And I really appreciate it. But these dungeon tiles are also really sweet and compatible with Dwarven Forge. So if you're interested in those, they're linked below. This printer boasts some pretty cool features. It's ready to print, ready out of the box, fully assembled, and a level and maintenance free system. It's got some safe non-toxic filament that's designed to be more precise, and the nozzle at 0.4 millimeters is capable of some very good resolutions. At the end of the day, this is a fun little printer. It kind of gave me 
nostalgia for when I first started 3D printing because it was so easy to use and so fun to use and just so simple that it kind of took all the stress out of 3D printing. Now I think this would be great as like a conversation piece at the end of your desk at work or if you're a classroom teacher this thing would be awesome to bring in for your students. The use of the app makes this really really easy to use. And if you got kids they'll love this thing it's so easy to use that they can just pick up the phone and get printing right away. 219 is not a bad price it's a great little starter printer if you just want to experiment with the hobby. I'm going to link the website below, you guys can go and check it out and make sure you stick around and catch some more videos on my channel.